Hi, this is Teacher Nori, and this is the second video about Paragraph and its parts. In this video, we will learn about supporting sentences. But first, what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences organized around a main idea. A paragraph is usually made up of five sentences. An example of a paragraph is, I always keep my room clean. Every morning, I fix my bed and sweep the floor. I wipe the dust off my things often. I also organize my stuff in their storage areas. I am good at keeping my room clean. Another example. The culture in the Philippines is very diverse. The difference in culture can be seen through its food, festivals, clothing, and designs. The distance between the islands gave way to this diversity. Having more than 7,000 islands ensure that each place is unique. Experiencing the diversity in culture of the islands can fill a person with excitement. What are the parts of a paragraph? A paragraph is made up of three parts. The topic sentence, the supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. Supporting sentences. Supporting sentences give details to support the main idea in the topic sentence. It is usually two to three sentences long. Each sentence gives details relating to the main idea. The sentences can be identified by transition words, such as then, also, first, next, and but. From the first sample paragraph, the supporting sentences are Every morning, I fix my bed and sweep the floor. I wipe the dust off my things often. I also organize my stuff in their storage areas. In the second paragraph, the supporting sentences are The difference in culture can be seen through its food, festivals, clothing, and designs. The distance between the islands gave way to its diversity. Having more than 7,000 islands ensure that each place is unique. In writing paragraphs, we must remember the following. Paragraphs are composed of sentences. The sentences always begin with an uppercase letter or capital letter and ends with either a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Most of the time, the first line of a paragraph is indented. According to Webopedia.com, indentation in writing means the space used to separate a paragraph from the left or right margin. Let us now go back to your handouts and answer check your understanding B. This time, since we discussed supporting sentences, we need to read the paragraphs given and identify the supporting sentences using a blue crayon. Number one. There are three kinds of bacteria. The rod-shaped bacteria are called bacilli. The ball-shaped bacteria are called cocci. The twisted bacteria are called spirilla. Bacteria get their names from their shapes. 
Number two. A cave is an opening beneath the ground or on the side of a hill or mountain. Most caves are made by water. Water trickles through the earth and works its way into cracks in the rocks. Bit by bit, the rocks are worn away and in time, a cave is formed. Number three. Cotton is one of the most valuable plants because of its fiber and its seed. Cotton fiber, as everyone knows, is an important textile fiber. It provides more cloth and clothing for man than any other fiber. For many years, cotton seed was considered entirely worthless. However, it was found out to be a very valuable source of oil for cake, meal, and linters. We just finished learning about supporting sentences. Remember, supporting sentences explains or gives details about the topic sentence or the main idea of the paragraph. In the next video, we will learn about concluding sentence. Until next time!